Just. Rolling Tin Fist. Hello, man. It's the day before Christmas, end of the year, and I uh, thought I would do a video. I haven't done one in a while. My annual red pill getaway was great. I was back in Colombia, South America, and the difference a year makes between my trip this year and last year. I think last year, in my journeys, I only bumped into maybe a few American men and even in the massage parlors uh, that we went to I think just one this year different story I bunched, I bumped into a whole bunch of men whole bunch of men I mean at least a dozen and so you know the word the word is out you know the word is out um, lots of these men were like middle-aged around my age maybe a little older but there were some younger men too, I would say men in the late twenties, early thirties, who maybe if they weren't aware of MGTOW had definitely licked the red pill if not swallowed it. So they were either coming out of, you know, marriages, they were recently divorced, or, you know, they just broke up with somebody they'd been in a long relationship with. But there was this sense of awakening when I talked with these men and, you know, heard their stories. Um, a couple of guys who actually coincidentally were from where I grew up. So, and you know, they were both about late 20s. And, you know, one had just got out of a really long, got kicked in the balls relationship. The other had dodged a bullet altogether. So these are both young guys, entrepreneurs, just kind of living their lives. And you could see the realization when men get together that are aware of this thing. Maybe they don't know about going your own way. Maybe they don't even know about the red pill, but there's this shared understanding that I have just woken out of some sort of prison, if not physically, then at least mentally. And there's this whole brave new world out there that I get to decide what I want to do. I get to choose my options, whatever they may be. And there is no gynocracy to judge or shame me. The most revealing to me were the guys my age. I mean, a lot of these guys had been coming to Colombia a while. I mean, they knew, like, the street names. <laughs> these guys were plugged in. They knew all the joints to go to. And they had a nice little system going. Um, now, I'm not talking about guys who go, you know, to foreign countries and, you know, looking for a unicorn, you know. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about guys who basically are done. They're done with marriage. They're done with finding the one. They're just there to typically on business or they're looking to retire there. You know, maybe have a little something that they tag every once in a while and just enjoy life. The age ranges, again, range from as young as, you know, 28 to as old as 69. Um, one of the gentlemen I stayed with, this guy, I mean, he'd never heard of MGTOW, but he was clearly MGTOW. He already had his kids in the U.S., you know, and, you know, back when he was my age, his older kid was in her 30s, but he came down to Colombia, had a little baby mama somewhere, you know, he just sends her checks, and, you know, he has his own condo, you know, he sees his son, like, every once in a while, you know, but there's nobody, like, up in his house causing drama, and you could see the joy in all these men, I mean, you could just see it, that lack of stress, that peace, that shared understanding. So I talked to him about MGTOW and my buddy, who's a purple pill, you know, we talked about it. He goes, oh yeah, yeah, okay. And he got it. It didn't take much explanation. I think that's part of the good news at the end of this year, you know, that the word is spreading. Uh, men are becoming more aware and it's for the better. It's for the collector, collective betterment of men. As I go into, you know, It'll be two years in January since I became awake and well married and took the red pill. It's been great. I mean, it's just been really great. I don't even recognize my life before that. 
and I have all of you to thank, all you content producers, all of you have commented on you know, sites like Reddit and MGTAR.com and Shedding of the Ego, all of you guys. Um, I have you guys to thank, and a lot of men out there have you to thank because like a lot of how MGTOW spreads on the red pill knowledge spread, it's not by some new ca- newscaster doing a story. It's in these sites and these videos, it's men you meet who you know who drop some knowledge to you or you drop some knowledge to them. And uh so uh I would just like to thank you and uh looking forward to a very red pill twenty seventeen. Take care.